Oh, I think accessing your heart rate is really big. You can see how much better you get in shape, you know, when you're doing something the same thing you did like a couple weeks ago, but then also your heart rate's way lower than it was before. You know, and also when you wake up in the morning, you know, if your heart rate's up, you know, you might be overtrained a little bit. So like that, so I think accessing your heart rate does a lot of big justice for you when you're training. It helps you to maintain your body, not overtrain and hurt yourself. You know, with today's workout, we did a lot of like, you know, foot movements and stuff like that, reaction. And I, I like doing that because, you know, it helps me uh, watching the heart rate and stuff like that. You know, it went up a little bit, but it was pretty good. I was happy with where I was at, at today. I'm still in decent shape after the fight. And uh, if I'm, my heart rate's going up and my legs are getting tired, I know I'm not in shape. <laughs> so it, it helps out and I felt good the whole time. You know, I was in a good stance, you know, my heart wasn't getting too crazy. I wasn't breathing too heavy. So, you know, knowing that and, you know, not even camping, it makes me feel good about myself. So I love incorporating heart rate training into a program. You know, it allows two things for me. Number one, it allows me to see the intensity which someone is working from exercise to exercise so that I can see if it's truly something that is demanding but also it allows me to know what type of energy system certain movements are taxing. When I'm training in want Steve to be in a specific zone, that one or two, three punch combinations, be able to get up and get out and move under seven to 10 seconds type of an approach with a shorter recovery is something that we focus on a lot because it's the sport itself. When you have time, in between rounds or whatever it is, you can see, you know, with the watch helps out to see how much your recovery time is. In mixed martial arts, man, if you're not in shape or you're not in fit, I mean, it's gonna end quick. <laughs> but also endurance-wise too, you know, I, uh, you know, get my muscles as tired as I can, can you see that? So when in the fight, you know, no matter if I'm going for a takedown or I'm gonna get the cage, I'm holding them up, I'm still not gonna get tired. I think, you know, with this heart rate thing or, you know, just watching your spices and how much better you've getting, I think it really is motivational watching that stuff. and. I think over the years watching it and doing it and I think you know, learning my body more and knowing when I need to rest and you know, I won't get injured easy, I think uh, that heart rate does help out a lot. You know, with the watch, you, know, you can set up your schedule, what you want, um, it's great. You know, so you, know, you can pick a time at 10 o'clock to 1 11 o'clock, you know, and you, know, you, you, you can always vary it. After, after I'm done working out too, I can look it up on the dashboard, it's great, and then I can see how you know, my progress is, you know, with all the spikes and stuff. I can see what I'm getting better and what stuff I need to work on, you know, maybe this is helping me, maybe it's not, maybe it's not you know, getting the spike I want. Because you know, everyone's different, so you can always learn something for yourself. And, that helps me out with my recovery and all that and you know make sure I'm not getting hurt.